Hi, welcome to James Miller Lifeology, where you will learn to simplify and transform your life. My name is James Miller. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a composer. In this episode, I wanted to speak with you about the concept of crash and burn. Yes, we've all experienced that at some time in our life, and hopefully we won't experience it again. So I wanted to explain to you the whole cause and effect. Everyone knows about Isaac Newton, the famous physicist, who talked about for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, that's very much true in our daily life. So if our day is incredibly stressful, we're overbooked at work, we are just completely consumed with what our schedule looks like, the longer that day goes, by the time we get home, we're not going to have any time for ourselves, And then we'll immediately go to bed, we won't have time with our family, or to do those things that, that are important for us, or you know, house chores, or anything like that. And so the cause and effect component is this. If my life continually is like that every day, let's say for a week, let's say for a month, let's say for a year, I will crash and burn. I will not be able to sustain that type of lifestyle because we're not made for that. There always has to be a cause and effect. There always has to be the opposite component of a life that is that stressful. So I have many clients over the years who say, James, I just don't have time for myself. Well, you're right. You don't have time when you live a life, life as such. And so it's so important to actually build in the opposite of the hectic life, and that's going to be in the morning. So your morning should always have a time of quietude and stillness, and however that may look for you. And I'll explain how it works in my life as an example, but it's so important because the opposite effect of quietude and stillness gives you the energy to then create a life or be a part of a life that's very hectic because of our work schedule. And so if you create a life in the morning that's full of meditation, that's full of quietude, that's full of reflection, that's full of just time for yourself, the opposite effect is going to be giving yourself energy to be able to be in a, in a work environment that's extremely hectic. So on a personal note, and I'm only exp explaining this to you because this is how it works for me, as I get up an hour and a half before my first appointment. So sometimes I see clients as early as 7 a.m., so that means I have to get up at 5.30. Other times I may have to get up at 6.30. So it just really depends on whatever my schedule looks like. But I purposely build in that hour and a half time beforehand because that's what I need for my busy day. So it doesn't matter what your day looks like. It doesn't matter how hectic it is or how, how stressful it is or perhaps it's an easy day, but you always need to build in a certain time parameter that works for you. So for me, during, my, during the hour and a half, of course, I have breakfast. Um, I spend time in meditation and prayer because that's very important to me. Um, I actually have a list of daily affirmations that I go over. And, um, and then I just spend time with, with the people around me. And so it's incredibly important for me to build that time in because if I don't, I know for me that I will not have the energy and the motivation to do the rest of the things after my day is over. So the cause and effect in everything is in a proactive stance. You build in a quietude and stillness and that meditative stance, which then allows you to then be able to have the opposite part of your day, which is the very hectic, stressed out day. And I promise you, if you start to incorporate this, whatever time frame it is for you in the morning, you will find that your day is incredibly successful and that you will be able to be rejuvenated, recharged, and do those things which are important to you. So thank you for watching James Miller Lifeology. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.